got up to about 72 mile per hour back there and that was on GPS and uh, probably with about 14 15,000 watts not and that wasn't the end of it you know we probably could have got it we probably could have kept going uh, like I say I try to take a little easy on this motor still on uh, still on a little itty bitty uh, noodle size phase wires but the reason why we able to do that uh, on 72 volts with that amount of power is because of the exceptional the exceptional field weakening you get from fucking ASI now people wonder why I'm so uh, like that on ASI is because what a lot of people don't know is the salt for one thing man ASI makes hell of a control you know it ain't always just about power all the time there's some other technology involved and uh, th these guys that make ASI man their field weakening technology uh, their FOC is out of this world man their field oriented control man is fucking amazing so yeah just like if people used to question uh, the top speed of the fucking beast and I was at 34, 36,000 watts and they didn't think that thing could do 100 miles an hour. Man, you out of your goddamn mind. When I could probably do 75 miles per hour on this uh, with about 15,000 watts due to the field weakening, you know. Obviously, I could never do a, a, a decent speed test on the beast on this road right here because it's not, it's not a long enough stretch of straight road for me to run it out. Now, uh, with, with any electric bike, no matter what electric bike you're running, at some point when you get the, to the end of your speed range, those last mile per hour would be at five mile per hour or ten the last five or ten mile per hour aren't going to come as fast as your initial you know the, the, the miles per hour that you're getting in your initial power bank you know they come fast but when you get to the end of your range man those extra mile per hour it might take five seconds to flip one mile per hour to the next mile per hour you know so when it starts flipping that slow you gotta have a long stretch to be able to continue and keep going to get them last few miles per hour now i got plenty of videos showing me being able to haul ass up to about 85 miles per hour getting off of it and the beast could do that anytime in fact uh if i wasn't running into traffic or a curb or a hill or a red light it could did that up to about 90 miles an hour then those last 10 miles per hour man it might take me a, it might take me another uh, another half a mile or a mile worth of road to get them last 10 miles per hour you know what I'm saying but uh, anyway man it is what it is I'm trying to see what that was right there. It looks like a uh, uh, old ninja. Just like this bike. When you just seen it do 72 miles per hour and I got off it up there. If I would have stayed on it and actually gave it more throttle, I probably could I could probably throttle this to about 20,000 watts right now. But it probably would have creepy crawled its ass on up to 78, you know, maybe in there, maybe even 80, you know, after after some time with that field weakening. But, you know, that's that's with some watts and some amps. But, uh, yeah, that's our little test for the day. I'm satisfied with that 
and that was uh you can see uh i just did that a little while ago so i'm at 77 volts so even a little while ago i would i would have probably still been at 78 79 volts which is about 75 80 percent battery whatever that is man i'd have to see uh 77 volts right now we might be at the uh, 60 percent battery 50 60 percent not sure i got i don't keep all that shit in my brain like that but uh obviously 76 volts is is not a full charge so you know i'm pretty sure we could get some more speed with uh the battery being topped off and those extra volts so uh yeah i'd say this bike could probably do 80 right now with the little teeny uh with those little teeny phase wires yeah it'd be a task i'd have to stay on it for you know for a while but uh yeah it might would do it if it if it won't do it uh right now i guarantee when i uh put those bigger phase wires on this thing and uh get that motor impedance down because right now the motor impedance is high as fuck with those little teeny phase wires and I get that motor impedance down lower and uh, more current flow, yeah, it, it'll step out there. But, uh, man, like I said, I can't wait to uh, get my new motor in 96 volts and we're going to be really talking some, some speed at that point. All right, y'all, deuces, we out.